Hi, today in this video, let's first explore how Contabo VPS works. So, I'm going to my browser and search for Contabo. Let's go to Cloud VPS and come down to the cheapest one for today. And now I can see the price is uh, 4 point. By five. Here you can see you have three virtual CPU cores, HDB RAM, and the storage you have two options. Either you're taking non volatile memory or you're taking uh, SSD. So you have it's up to your choice. Then you have one snapshot. So at the price, you have options of one month, six months, and 12 months. And today I think we are taking one month subscription. So we have to pay a full amount because no discount. Now, this region for servers, the free one is European, but there are also others that come for free for the start and maybe they charge after. So, all of them are here. Then, storage, as I told you, you have to choose either SSD or non volatile memory. So, for this case, I think I need to take uh, this is very fast always. I'm taking this. Then, the image, which operating system do you want? Uh, there is Ubuntu then the, you can also be able to choose a specific operating systems if you wish but by default the most popular is Ubuntu then you can use a custom image then also have Windows and there is but you can realize that others are paid for example Windows there is networking here and if you see you can be able to check out things now no private networking but if you select a private one you're going to be charged but everything on free is okay ipv4 is free but if you want another ip then you're going to be charged then add-ons you can be able to add the storage in case the other one is not enough it's up to you then we also have a managed server or free so it's just your choice if you can manage your own server you take and manage it and completely free then monitoring if you want them to be monitoring this is also here the ssl there is none but that is standard you can actually always take this because you cannot be able to install maybe less encrypt it's also free so you don't need to waste your money and put in this kind of um this kind of ssl now that's um so let's uh look at this you can be able to set up the your root password i think this one i'm going to set it now i can be able to select other things if you want different uh multiple servers you can be able to take as many as possible but remember, I've selected for one month and I'm going to pay only $5. Because I just want us to try how it works. Now, after this, I'm going to move to next. Now, here, you're going to fill out your profile, whether you want to be a business or private. Now, in this case, I'm going to fill myself as private. I have a business, I have a company, but I wouldn't like to waste much energy to look for all the documentation and this is my company postal code i'm in uganda and then i fill in these details now i'm going to select the payment method i think i'm going to use a credit card now i have to put the otp which has come to my phone and confirm perfect the payment is done can be able to leave this so now you can see prevent the disasters use a backup solution this option is here uh they i didn't select the backup option but they are asking me if i could select but of course they may charge me 1.5 dollars so i think i am not ready to spend any extra money on this so i think i'm taking my protect data myself i'm just going to order and pay you can see my bill set up pay everything is here snapshot so I just reviewed and i've seen everything is perfectly fine so the next thing is just order and pay perfect the payment is complete they have received it and i've also received a mail so we have ready board contabo after completing the payment you always receive emails from contabo one will be showing the confirmation of your payment as you can see this one the next thing is uh, going to be your control panel or where you're going to log in as you can see it shows you your details for logging in and the other message is your login info you can see this is uh, your ip address and other details are right here so now let's first try to set up or access it through ssh so the first thing that we do is just go to your search console if you're using Linux, it's uh, straightforward. If you're using Windows, uh, let's do this together. <clears throat> and in the next video, I'll also make for Linux. So now you go to download software called Putty. 
and you see it's here it's very quick and simple and um, you just get to the first link here download putty and here also you see windows installer 6486 then mb so let me take 64 bit now the download is complete so let me open putty and install it so it's asking for domain rights in case you don't have you're not able to install it and finally we finish brings this we can close all this and you just go to start and search for putty actually you can just put type putty then you see this app here now you see here you're going to put your ip address so what you have to do is go to your email that you receive from you receive from contabo and you pick your ip address and then you come to putty and put it here once you finish that you open so it's going to ask you a few things host key is not cached so you're going to accept and you log in as root put the username as root and then you put the password remember the ssh uh the password that you set when you were opening your account with contabo perfect now you can see i'm now logged into contabo and this is my route so at this level you're able to set up anything upload anything you have access to the road so you should be able to know these commands i think i'll be showing you next if if we decide to set up any application for example wordpress um python whatever you want to do you can be able to do this so thank you very much bye